We also have a kitty in my lap. Which... Oh, maybe? Oh, nope. There she goes. She's, she's decided that she's going to disappear. But... We do still have a kiwi. He, he baby. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm hoping this is going to be the last installment of Home Safety Hotline. We are heading into the weekend. And... Yeah. That's... And, like, I want to make a note <laughs> that I understand this is a game. We're not being paid anyway to do this Saturday, Sunday. But I'm just aware that the character inside the game seems to be uh, not paid for any of this. So, we're going to quickly check out the mailbox. This address is no longer... Is no longer active. Hi, if uh, you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. As of tomorrow, this address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive emails. Uh, if you still need support from HSH, please email us at support at HSH. And then, a daily coupon, which also gives us another achievement. Because we got 100% on our Friday. So congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Hag Hide. What the heck? Uh, sourced cruel, cruelty-free from the perished and treated with our flower-scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in a it will even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, uh, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Haglin for deals. Uh, and keep up the great work, employee. Uh, so it is normally $943.99 and with our discount, it becomes to $777.99. See, this... This is the part that I've been cutting out in all the editing because it takes forever to start up. But Thursday and Friday, for some reason, it was just like, wham, bam, we're here. Hark, employee. Lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Oh. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. What? Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. So she's talking in like old English here. Um, <laughs> what? What? Do we even survive a Saturday? Because here's the thing, right? Not that you guys can see this particular part right now, um, but you'll see my mouth moving. Is that achievement wise, so we have seven out of the 11 achievements. So there are four achievements. One is to complete the game with 100% accuracy. Um, and since I like know what a lot of the correct answers are now, like post those incorrect phone calls I can go through and correct a whole bunch of that to immediately get that and that's not going to be like the end of the world we have an achievement for read through the art book I have no idea what the art book is but then we have complete your sixth day on the job which is for Saturday but they don't have one for Sunday but there is also a hidden achievement and I don't know what that is so if you are interested in the achievement process that has been so far majority of them have been for completing the various days so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday uh getting the job perk so that is for having a hundred percent complete or i think it's over 90 percent completion like accuracy kind of thing and then one for unemployed um so there it's there i have no idea if unemployed is a um uh I have no idea if that was a secret achievement. I don't know which ones were secret achievements and which ones were not because I forgot to check ahead of time. Okay, autumn vines. So we have a sound. We do have a sound. That actually sounds kind of cool. So they just are coloured like autumn vines. Um, but they will oft uh, homeowners will often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. That's kind of sweet. Ba -do -ba -do. Oh, into my cellar. I think of getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Mm -hmm. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Okay, so at first I was like flapping around, maybe it's a bat, but also it's interested in her wine, so I'm wondering if Please it's a wine sprite. 
So we're gonna read about a bat, which indicates that they'll find their, their way into homes like in that hibernation period before winter. Technic well, no, okay. I was gonna say, technically, <laughs> April is uh, just before winter, but that is not the case. That is the opposite case here, because I suspect this is based on like Northern Hemisphere. Just straight off the bat, so. Just straight off the bat. Bed hag has a sound. <gasps> that is creepy. Yeah, that'd, that'd do it. Um, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So they're known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. I am thankful that my bed is flush to the ground. <laughs> the solution states that bed hags can in fact be beneficial to a home. How? Apparently it's because they can actually frighten off other pests. Um, but... That sound would terrify the <laughs> out of you. You would never sleep again. Dorcha! What is a Dorcha? There's no sound for this one. So, uh, it's the one who delivers. They uh, commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. That... There's no coming back from deliverance. <laughs> <sighs> to be sought by Dorcha is to be found by Dorcha. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorcha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Hi. You okay, baby girl? Did you go have some water? I can tell because your face is wet. She dunks her entire face in a water bowl. Leprechauns! <gasps> they have a sound. That actually is a terrifying leprechaun though. <laughs> They're known for consuming common household valuables such as jewellery, silverware, and other precious metals. <laughs> Leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. <laughs> we have a neighbor's doorway as a thing. It's a door frame. Puka! Oh, look at it! tails going off. Is there a bird out there? Are you bird watching? Hey! Hi! Are you watching a birdo? Are you watching a birdo? It basically sounds like they steal the likeness of your household pet by killing them. Uh, I don't like that idea. We have reanimation, which is like, oh, okay. I was going to say, we had animation, which was like the uh, mannequins and dolls and stuff. And reanimation, I thought it was going to be an add-on to that. I didn't realize what it was. It is just a skeleton. I don't know what... Mm. Anyway. Uh, it is just any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. <laughs> Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbours or strangers the homeowner may have recently slighted and make peace or bargain. <laughs> We have a spriggan, which is uh, an add-on from like the sprig tree and the sprig vines. And we've got a sound for that one. Why? Okay. I also cannot actually see a spriggan in this photo. Like, what is the spriggan in the photo? So, the other things that we've got is a troll and a warlock uh, remnant. So, we'll quickly check them out and then we'll check. 
Okay, we'll quickly check those two out. I will read about the wine sprite, which is what I think Brittany has. So, these guys are 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures. What? And they're normally not seen inside the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing. Hey, so the wine sprite is what I think she has, right? Because there are subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming wine. Full stop. That's the reason for it. Uh, do they fly though? That is my thing. So, she says, some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. We do know that lamp sprites fly. Uh, so, I wouldn't be surprised that a wine sprite flies. We're going to guesstimate. It's a wine sprite. Hopefully. Unlike the first time I filmed this, this coffee is cold. And it's not great cold. But it's coffee, so we're gonna finish it. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. Uh, they're overly, her kids are overly curious about the smell. So they probably like the smell. So I think it's a wood secretion. And we're gonna do that without confirming with anything else. I think there's someone watching me. I've seen their eyes. I am wondering about a spriggan. Okay, so I have had a quick squeeze through everything, or at least, like, clicked on stuff that might be it, especially if it's, like, new or anything like that. The only thing that seems, I can't even remember what, oh, the only thing that seems to make sense is a Spriggan. Um, and it just doesn't sound like he's upset it yet, just that it's, like, in the trees at the moment. Oh, kitty! Things have never been better around here. My brother okay. says he doesn't like the way the leaves. Autumn vines, I guess? You know, they slowly like grow over the house. Uh, they often report feeling like dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. She seems rather blissful. We're gonna go with autumn vines for her and hope for the best. Hi. Do you know how I got here? Things like paral parallel. 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 parallel <laughs> Parallel no God <laughs> Parallelism is what I'm gonna go with. Alright, so yeah, so I do think that neighbor's doorway is the only thing that kind of fits here. And we'll just hope for the best. I feel like there's a lot of that this particular go around is that this seems like it fits, but I don't feel confident in it. But it's not because there's something in it that doesn't match, but just rather that, like, I'm wondering if there's something that maybe fits better. Hi! Oh, she's back in yeah, the window. there's this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room, and when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Okay, so at first I thought she was using crap as a figurative thing. Of just like, oh, you know, like I have a bunch of crap on my like shelving units and stuff like that. But then she talks about the fact that her dog can't even lay down something that big. So I'm wondering if Please she's talking hold. about legitimate crap. As to what could leave something that big, I don't know. Um, Cobalt's are fairly large, so I'm going to quickly check that out. Another thing was the... It was something new. What was it? It was a thing that like mimics your pets. That was something I wanted to quickly check as well. Um, I don't think it's a faith feast. Because at first I was thinking, oh, maybe she just hasn't gotten to a faith feast in time and it's gone bad. Um, but I don't think that that's entirely the case either. Oh, a puka. That doesn't really seem to indicate it either. Okay, we're going to have to take our time in going through everything because I don't actually know what else would leave something that large behind. 
<laughs> Goodbye, boys. I have been through everything, by the way, and absolutely nothing fits. One hour later. So I'm gonna admit to you guys, I looked it up because nothing fit. It is apparently a fey feast, which makes me really mad because it doesn't even fit. Like, she's talking about bad smells and she's talking about crap. Like, they leave edible, various edible food substances and they're known to appear near, uh, near eating areas of the home, so dining room table, which as I said, makes kind of sense, but, uh, they, but they're not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or uh, carpenter ants. Um, so that's fine, but she's like talking about bad stuff, like inedible stuff. So, see with everything else, I've been willing to like hazard a guess for something that fits, but absolutely nothing fit what she was saying. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. So we have bed bugs, which obviously cause itches. Bed bugs have developed a resistance to the majority of common pesticides and are therefore quite difficult to remove. Bed teeth also causes like itchiness and stuff, but then this says to prevent the growth of them, they should be washed regularly and inspected for rare, more persistent growth. Infested covers should be scrubbed thoroughly or disposed of entirely. Um, so it's scrubbed thoroughly. He says that he's scrubbed them entirely, but there is the accompaniment, con uh, accompaniment con nope, that's still not it. It comes with nightmares as well, so I don't know if there's something else that's potentially causing nightmares. I don't know this, if there's something that causes both itching and nightmares, and I'm wondering if the nightmares are just unrelated. I feel like our whole music has changed. I haven't been paying attention to it all that much, but it seems to be... Like, it, it seems to be different now. So a quick squiz through tells me that the only thing that makes sense is bed bugs. Um, and that it's just he's unfortunately not clearing them and the nightmares happen to be unrelated. Why can't we get the whole music while we're waiting for phone calls as well? Okay, do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? Uh, be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but daddy's on the phone right now. So, I, there's only one thing that I know old. to do damage to... Um, heaters and stuff, which is a leprechaun, but I don't understand it. Like, you've got a child in the background that's teething, but because they can cause uh, long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if not properly protected. They'll also cause direct harm to humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants, such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. But again, it's a child in the background crying, and then you gotta shut up, I know your teeth hurt. It just says child, but like, you know... You wouldn't have a, med a metallic medical implant like in a child's mouth. I'm wondering if they're just throwing in a bunch of red herrings now. So like the child crying in the background just happens to be a separate issue. Yeah, nothing else seems to be indicative of like broken um, heaters or anything like that. So we're just going to go with leprechaun. Um, as I said, this, this day seems to be very heavy on the uh I'ma just hope and pray that that's the answer aside from the fave feast because that was stupid <sighs> lately my wife's clothes have started going missing and at night I keep hearing this strange be cushion type sound coming from outside so missing Please clothes hold. uh there was a I think a closet labyrinth accompanies missing clothes but the sound of distant cries coming from their closet doesn't seem to match with the sound of like a whoopee cushion. Because the other one that steals clothes is, clothing is trolls, but again, I would think that the trolls would um, have caused other damage. Oh, actually, no, I take it back. So people infested with trolls will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sound of air escaping in the middle of the night. Um, and so that would match with the whoopee cushion sound. So, um, no, actually, I do think troll is correct. Hello, sure. I saw your Hello. commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. 
Uh, so I do want to quickly check out tea spreads because that seems like you know a buzzing sound. Um, but you couldn't find anything but a few loose, le loose tea leaves, which oh, we have a network error. I can't actually confirm this. Tea sprite is going to be my guess, though. Um, so I'm not going to sit here guessing what else it could be. I also noticed that the network error doesn't necessarily like the page won't reload. You have to actually like click at something to reload something uh and i have not noticed that in certain cases and all of a sudden it's been back and i've not even e either paid attention or i did and then i got distracted by the accuracy amount oh we've got one of those creepy phone calls again hi we need some medical help i started feeling shortness of breath around okay, the same it sounds time. like they've got a i'm bed worried home. about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma some particularly severe allergies we try Okay, so their network is still out, so I cannot confirm, but it does sound like she's got a bed hag. So we're just gonna send it and go off. You see, if if we had the network error, network error on the Faye Feast one, I would have had absolutely no idea. And I suspect that I might have actually chosen Faye Feast because it was one of the first things I'd thought of. Um. And I wanted to like reconfirm and then so if we'd had a network error I might have actually just gone with Faye Feast so, uh, from the beginning. I've been hearing this weird sound coming from the wild. Not exactly sure oh. what it is. But I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. I know that sound. Can you hear that? It's been non stop lately. I think it's the whistling fungies. Which we're back now. So um Well No, you know the sound that I think I'm actually thinking of? I think I'm actually thinking of this sound. Like it's that singing. That singing is what I thought I was hearing. Uh, but I was obviously mistaking that for whistling fungi. I'm just gonna go straight up with the whistling fungi um, Because you know, this is sound coming from her walls That would make her the logical sense Um, hello? So it only mentions a bad smell, but since says that her puppy uh, that it's upsetting her puppy too Because he's been acting up lately. Please hold. The smell could be um uh, could be the puka, like the, the smell could be her original pet and that the the actions of her what she believes to be her puppy meatball are not correct. So yeah, because the smell would be from the decaying body. We're gonna we're gonna go with it. Woo! We're gonna do a thing. Oh flipper! Our shift has ended. Our accuracy was 100%, so we did get everything correct today. I'm still mad about the Fae Feast. That was stupid. Entry browser. Hmm. So why can we just see this on our device ahead of time? A couple of new emails. So, congratulations, employee number 36. We're happy to report that we are most pleased with your labours and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Wham, blam, thank you, ma'am. Lunar skies. What actually is even the difference? Oh. That's not what I meant. We have new, no new other like videos or anything like that. So I guess we'll just dive in. To Sunday. Again, this one was fairly quick to bring up the actual day. I don't understand why some of the other days weren't. That was weird. I bet you Car Thy trial hath begun. Alright, what does Carol have to say? Oh, that's not Carol. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. 
Oh, I can't view any of it. We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? That sounds like bees. We're just going to have to do a, 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 a soul judgment. Woo! Showcase thy knowledge. We don't know what that knowledge is. So that's why it's on your file, like on your computer ahead of time, so you can research anything ahead of time. I'm not living, yet I flatter. I'm small, I'm weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? I'm gonna select reanimation. I'm not living, yet I clatter. I'm small, I'm weak. I serve my purpose, and then I die. That's, and yet I clatter. Sure, this doesn't feel right. Oh. I honestly thought that we were gonna have um, the the sound bite update. What? I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? A rain nymph? Because they beg to come in, they encroach on the dry, and they're a friend from the rain and the sky. That's my guess, my best guess. If I thought last, last thing was going to be a, uh, oh, this seems like it fits and we'll just try it out. This is even more so, because I can't even confirm anything. Uh, this one, I think, is the actual houseflies, because I remember houseflies, uh, being mentioned in regards to uh, that sense of doom. Rejoice! This one Please is the hold. closet labyrinth uh, that they, I seek the domains of those who have too much. Some of these are clever little riddles, I'll give it that. We are companions of the gardens, we compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Companions of the gardens, we compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are Please we? Hold. Well, hang on. There was a thing about not killing moles, and they're like companions to the garden, right? And if you kill one, would they, <laughs> would they do that? That's like the only thing that like comes to mind, and we're doing a lot of gut trusting here. Oh, that's a mole. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? Um, so that would explain why it says do not kill a mole because they're like encouraging that. I am the dancer, I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless Please light. Hold. What? I'm just gonna answer mole again. We're just gonna do it. Is it once you've sort of selected mole, all the answers are gonna be mole from now on? I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? This... Are these pictures of what they are? So like the other one was mole as like a certain, this one sounds like it's a torture. I only just noticed that there's like faces in any of these like post mole so I think we got one incorrect because <laughs> I don't think we like I was wondering if it was just oh are they all just mole from here on out but that's I think clearly not the case oh hello supervisor Carol here we've been watching you closely for all this time you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers these acts will not go unrewarded, and I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Promotion is oh, 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 what is she? Oh. What? Okay. I'm very afraid. 
Don't come close. That is a really cool, like, Halloween look, though. On that note. That was the um, locked achievement. Oh, okay, okay. That was the the locked achievement. So we have call training, weekly report, uh, and art book. We're gonna look at the art book introduction. Look at some of these pictures. I am not gonna be like reading everything, but I do want to check out the pictures. That's kind of cool. The Luna Archives. Home safety. <laughs> Goblin Anatomy. That's actually really cool. Oh, it was in the window. That's why I missed it. Troll in focus. Bogging around. <laughs> Honestly? I'm wondering if, like, the person in the photo was, like, also Carol or something, but... Sprightly little fellow. Yeah, a wizard. <laughs> Okay, so the exclusive deals. We had a used horseshoe, a ratty end. Uh, originally, the game over ending was much simpler and to the point with Carol firing the player and wiping their memory before sending them on their way. After the promotion ending was written, it was decided to cover up with something a little more whimsical for the game over uh, to better suit, suit the world of HSH. Inspired by the Ro by Roald Dahl's The Witches, we came up with the idea that Carol should turn the player into a mouse instead. On the morning of the shoot, I moulded these clay props from air drying clay, painted them with acrylic paint, and then hastily glued some f <laughs> some, some faux uh, craft store fur onto them. David then held these in front of the camera while I filmed the ending on my living room floor. <laughs> and then, yeah, you've got the so the riddle me this. Originally, the player received their promotion at the end of their shift on Saturday, but it felt too abrupt to go from an otherwise normal workday to the game's fantastical ending in the span of a single call. After a bit of brainstorming, we wound up coming up with a dedicated final trial day where you would be called by cryptic uh, cloaked callers testing your knowledge with riddles, all without having access to your database of information. So that looks like a mole, which is what I had noticed. That looks like a witch face? I don't know. The promotion crown. Oh, look at that. She was doing it herself. In addition to playing the role of, Cor uh, of Carol, Courtney uh, also designed the final makeup and costumed look for Faye Carol in the uh, game's ending cutscene, depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I, wanted, uh, I want to look like a proper swamp witch. <laughs> That's so cool. So that is officially the end of the game. Um, yeah, that went a whole completely different way than what I was anticipating, but okay. The next, like, game in the lineup for here on YouTube is Luigi's Mansion, um, so that should be fun and exciting, and uh, aside from that, I shall see you guys next time. Bye! Oh! <laughs> what is it?
I was not expecting this to get like as corny as it did. <laughs> 